like actually took a second to say like, yo, that's actually like a cigarette puff time. Like even when brother Kofi's taking it for just three seconds. No, it's like inhale. It was like a three second, like, you know what I mean? It was a three second kind of thing. And I bring that up because we're talking about breaking habits and no, I'm, no seriously. And I'm being transparent. You know what I mean? I, I, I smoke cigars and, and I'm being transparent because I want to be held accountable. Right. And I want to break it. I want to be healthy. And I said, yo, today's the day, right? Today's the day. And that's why addiction is in there. So that, yeah, man, for sure, bro. We got to be honest with ourselves in our, in our community. And so, um, so, you know, and I was, I was, I was thinking like that. I was like, yo, that's the same process. And think about it. It's the same process, but it's a different pro it's a different product, right? One is just pure air and life. The other is death. Like they're polar opposites, but it's the same inhaling. You know what I mean? <laughs> so as our communities out there inhaling, 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 they just, they, all we got to do is come in with the knowledge and tell them to switch it up. Like, yo, just breathe air, bro. You know what I mean? Just do the same thing and just spend time breathing air in the same same cadence and the same um, procedure, and you will experience change in your life. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. So this is a special moment, um, you know, on behalf of the Canadian Quadrant Association. Um, oh, my gosh, we got the queen coming on right now. This is like... Now, I, now this is a lot of pressure. Now I feel mad pressure. I need to breathe again. How did he, how you doing again, brother Kofi? In in how in how I gotta <laughs> breathe again because the pressure is on. The Queen, uh, Lillian Allen has just joined us. I mean, we're talking about royalty. We're talking about like global black royalty. Um, is, is on the line right now, and I just wanted to welcome her. I wish we had a red carpet and some drummers. Thank please. you. Greetings. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, this is truly an international um, experience, and thank you so much, Queen, for um, for joining. Um, so I was just getting into our special awards presentation, and um, you know, this is something that I got uh, very excited about. Uh, this is a big deal to me, and the people who we're going to recognize are, are really big deals to to, to us all internationally. Um, so on behalf of the Canadian Kwanzaa Association um, and you know Health and Hip Hop Week, um, I would like to. Um, just pay some tribute to some people in our community, some stalwarts in our community who have um, obviously blazed the trail, you know, when it comes to health um, and, and deserve all the respect and our recognition. Um, Brother Kofi has just showed us um, how valuable he is to our community, um, you know, as a certified holistic health coach and life care specialist, um, you know, for almost two decades, um, he has been sharing the power of meditation um, through multiple arts and disciplines. Um, he is a freedom and an alignment coach, you know, um, in, in all kinds of spaces, holistic health and wellness. Um, he is a, a Reiki energy healer and founder of Cosmic Wellness Holistic Health. Um, he offers workshops in these things. Um, and, you know, he also, he shared with us his book. And that's not a, that's not a small accomplishment. You know, he wrote a book called Change Your Life. And, um, and you know what? He left his legacy for for others to read. He added uh, he added to the library of must-have books. I mean, if you think about all the greatest leaders of all the world, what did they leave us? They left us books, right? They left us books. They left us, you know, their experiences and their, their directions and their inspirations in a book. And so, um, if you had appreciated what this brother just took us through, um, if you're if you're fortunate enough to be on the call with him at, at the, with us at the time, you know that this brother means business. And um, and it, so it gives me great, uh, no greater pleasure to acknowledge him in this moment. Let me just take this off as well, so you can get the full background. Both of you here. Um, yeah. And so yes, so brother Kofi, you ready? Because you, yeah, I mean, you've been you you put in a whole lot of work in our community, man. And I mean, without you, I mean, there would just, I mean, there would be such an, an incredible void. And think about where we've been planted, like. We're all planted in different places, and and what you mean to, you know, the African Canadian community, um, you know, and to the global Black community as a whole is just immeasurable. Um, but you know what you brought to us today was an, an incredible blessing, and um, so on behalf of the Canadian Kwanzaa Association and Health and Hip Hop Week on this first inaugural day of Afia, we'd like to present you with a 2021 Afia Award um, as one of our esteemed colleagues in the health space. I receive, brother. Thank Whoa. you. Yes. Congratulations, family. 
You're very well. We had to go and get the, the fancy um, frames for these. This is a big deal. I went frame shop. I'm like, we can't go with the regular frames. We need fancy mm. um, because this is a big deal for us, man. And, you know, like I said, what you've shared with us today um, is going to stay with us. And you have the power to be able to give to us and give to people and you would strengthen us and empower us, man. So um, I'm going to find a way to get that to you, man. And and I look forward to, um, you know, sharing more of your message through this platform because that's what the, the, that's what the day of Afia is for us to launch this online platform, this online institute for all these incredible holistic leaders um, who have something to share, to create a, a common space where people can find you no matter where you live in the world, man. So congratulations on being the first recipient of the Afia Award. Um, next up. Thank you, but I just want to just want to acknowledge. Yes, please. please. Just thank you for for creating the space for this and for the work that you've been doing. If you know anybody who knows Brother Dewitt, man, your your commitment to the community, to the work that you've been doing from Buffalo to Toronto, um, is so important and integral. And anytime something happens, brother, he just puts it out there. And uh, my boy's done the best to try to support the family. And I want to just encourage you to continue doing this work, bro, because you're leaving legacy for us and for your family, for your children. So thank you so much. And I want to put out there, um, relative to receiving this award, anybody who's seeking to make some changes in your health and your wellness, um, I want to offer at least two people an opportunity to connect with me. Um, if you want to get some work done, reach out to me. Um, I'm offering some amazing discount, and I want to kind of just give back to, to, to what you continue to give to us. So anyone who's doing that type of work and that kind of support, definitely reach out to me um, and I'll make sure that I do something special for for you. Um, just want to say thank well, you, brother. Well, thank you. And if I, if I can say, if, if I can speak on behalf of our our, um, our elder and queen, Lillian Allen, if I, and I know you've done some amazing work with, you know, some of the, you know, the pillars of our community. Um, and I, I don't know if you've done any work with her, but I would like, you know, for her to be one of those considered um, you know, and she has right of first refusal. And we'll we'll take a little bit of time offline to talk a little bit about more what that means. But um, I would like for her to to receive that, you know, that that um that gift um that, that you are offering. And it sounds like there means one left. So I don't know how you want to determine who that's gonna be, but um I'm staying out of it because I already got too too mixed up in your business, bro. Um but thank you so much for giving a gift. And you know what? That's that's an incredible principle that you just showed. Like you continue teaching us, bro. Like thank you're receiving you. and you're giving. So um, you know, you're continuing to teach us how we should walk as a as a village and as a community. And um I, I thank you for just that gift. Your your presence was a gift enough. Um, uh, but for you to add to the gift, um, you, we're just we're just humbly um grateful. All right, so this is a this is thank you again, and, and sorry that I almost didn't give you a chance to even say nothing, man. I, my mind is moving on because we're you know because I'm watching the clock. So forgive me for, um, you know, omitting that most important part of receiving an award is to be able to give thanks. Focus, yes, sir. Focus, and I'm trying to write things down so I could be, you know, stick to the plan here. Um, I am, uh, you know. It was it was important for me to recognize someone in, in, in Buffalo who, um, you know, who has done something in the health space. And and, I, and you know, we could have picked lots of different people who, you know, from which are in the traditional health space. But, you know, um, what this queen has given to our culture and, you know, we're talking about um, a demographic that is represented here on the Zoom, but also, you know, our nephews and our nieces. You know, what I mean, like she's speaking to. Um, you know, a generation that is our most, who, who are next up, you know, and, um, and, you know, what the, the go-getter, and you see her name is here, Adri V, the go-getter, and that's Adriana, is that right? Adriana Veretti? The Veret. The Veret. The Veret, yeah. yes. The Veret. Um, um, A.K.A. Um, Adri V, um, she has uh, started off as an intern, humble intern at WBLK here, uh, 93.7 FM. That's something I'm sure everyone in Canada, um, in Toronto is familiar with. Um, you know, before you got, before you got G98, all you had was, you know, um, BLK. Um, Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man, you, you already know about the BLK vibes. Um, 
And so as an intern, um, she worked her way up um, to where she is today. I mean, she's heard in cities all over the country. Um, and, you know, she, she, she's not just a person who's on the air talking about here's the next song, here's the next song. She adds so much of her own personality, of her own presence, her own purpose that she's a movie. She is a movie. Like you're what you're you're listening to the radio, but you're 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 watching a movie when she's on. And um, you know, she created this brand and she's wearing her brand, right? And as we talk about, you know, Ujama, we're talking about economics, we're talking about cashing in our creativity, right? Like go get it. You've heard that word forever, right? But she decided to allow that word to embody her movement. And now that's what she's associated with, so much so that there's the go get a mix right on the, on the air right so you know what she decided to do is as she decided to share her own personal journey um as she, as she sought to be fit and achieve her health goals um and she decided to share that with the people and you know and as she did that she invited more people to see themselves as being healthier stronger more powerful um especially empowering women a lot of times you see the guys you know, hitting the bags because they show it off. They show any muscles off. Like they showing off. Like, yo, I really get it in. So like they really they out there showing it off. But you know, to see our women in there punching bags and punching people, right? <laughs> Running upstairs, like two, three at a time. Like she's been training for like the fight of her life. And she's inspired so many to do it. And so as as the team was looking at people, I said, listen, I don't want to go traditional. Now, brother Kofi, you got it because you deserved it, man. And and everyone's experience today why you deserved it but you know i wanted us to also recognize those leaders in health space who may not even see themselves as leaders in the health space you know um but they are and they're changing the culture for like i said not just our generation but the generation that's watching us and learning from us um so i just wanted before we present our award i just wanted to say hello and tell us a little bit about this you know this journey why you decided to share it with the world well, um, one, thank you so much for seeing me. I think that's, you know, beyond acknowledging me, but seeing me and um, it's emotional because it's like you mentioned, you know, you were fighting and it really was a fight for my life to really take back my mental. And I think um, earlier Cash has, Cash has said, he said, you know, there is no force more stronger than a made up mind. And after making up my mind to want to decide to just go get it, not just how aggressive I go after my dreams and goals, it was just like, you got to be aggressive about your health. And it's like, since high school, I always was an athlete, played basketball. I've always was this deep rooted tomboy who played football outside and everything. And along with you and the effects of life definitely hit me from the standpoint of my physical health. And, you know, my biggest thing, like I shared, you know, I had to really take back the mental. I can show up all this energy and be this personality on the air because I want to give back and make sure everybody is having a great time. But somewhere in there, I wasn't my best self. Somewhere in there, I was in a dark place. But I showed up every time because I knew I had to give that energy. But the reality was I wasn't being true to me. And um, I went down this dark place because I was dealing with a, a divorce and my mother having breast cancer at the same time. So dealing with those two entities and we talked about coping skills, I had to move into something that always brought my energy up. When I played basketball, I loved it. When I played football, I loved it. When I'm singing, I loved it. So transitioning to my coping skill, which was fitness, I knew that every day I had to get up and put in that work because I was fighting for my life and fighting to make myself look good again. Because through the transition of not being in a great space mentally, I'm eating, I'm out late, you're drinking, Red Bull was my thing, because um, I was never a big drinker, and I realized this was not a healthy coping me mechanism. So if I had to be a go-getter about achieving my dreams and goals, I had to be a go-getter about having a very healthy lifestyle, and first it started in my mental, because at the end of the day, your mind is your greatest organ that will make sure all the other organs are most functioning. So I had to make up in my mind what I wanted to do, and then I decided to go and get it. And I showed up each and every time, every day, pushing myself and um, transforming my 
places I wanted to be professionally, I had to learn how to transform myself first. And so that was it. I was in a fight of my life. And what do you do as a fighter? You prepare, you lift weights. And lifting weight was just like the lifting of the weights that you deal with in life. And it was weight training, you know. And if I could lift this couple hundred pounds, I could lift the pounds that, that I face in life in general. So, um, you know, I just set out to change me and encourage others to do the same. And what I do on a regular when it comes to just being a go-getter, I can't tell you to be a go-getter if you ain't got the ability to go get it and the physical capabilities to make it happen. So I had to first be an example for myself. And honestly, I just did it because I had to fight for my life and I thought I'd share and in the midst of what I was capable of doing. So again, I appreciate this honor. Again, I'm not no fitness personnel. I was just somebody trying to make sure I stay fit for me, which is mentally, physically, and spiritually. And, and through that, like you said, I was able to encourage people, um, not intentionally, but just through being able to see themselves in me. So again, I appreciate you for seeing me and I appreciate for this honor. It, it, it is. Um, I, I see a lot of people have questions and I think, I think before we make the award presentation, um, if anyone has any questions, that this would be a good time because as soon as this is done, we are shifting over to our two moderators and we're going to be talking about uh, T's, um, herbs, and THC. Um, so, does anyone have any questions for the go getter her herself, y'all? Cousin, can you help me get my life together? Yes, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is together. It's just we going to better it together. That's just what it is. <laughs> Oh, that works for me. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. I got you all day, cousin. All day. I see a hand raised, Sister Simone. Yeah, just want to say congratulations. Thank you, Sister Simone. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the, you know, you'll see the go-getter inspiring people. I mean, speaking of Red Bull, they just had you um, you know, went from drinking Red Bulls to hosting a Red to Bull. Paid. That, yeah. Paid by Red Bull. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that that was a, a life. It's it's crazy because I had cut back on drinking, and I said the moment I cut I cut back drinking, and now y'all want to pay me <laughs> to come and host your event. I was trying to make sure I wasn't too triggered and drinking more of it. But it was a full circle moment. Red Bull was a part of my energy bringer for being on air. Pretty much a a, a non official sponsor to my life from college um, and being on the radio because I started out in you know, overnight shift from two a.m. to six a.m. and you got to be to bring that noise, but um, yeah, it was a blessing. Um, I got from being paid, paying for it myself, and getting paid to drink it and talk and, and be a and be an ambassador. So you know, it's full circle moment. It was a blessing. No, nah, that was big, and and you deserved to be there. Um, and so, uh, we, I, 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 I I'm just, I don't want to take forever. Um, and I want to get to this, but you know, because this is such a um, a special moment for us because this day is so big. This day didn't exist, right? Like today was a normal, today was just January 2nd. Like, can you imagine like it went from being just January 2nd to being a day of Afia, um, a day of, uh, it's a hashtag, right? It's a, it's a, it's a movement. Um, and, you know, I, I think this is going to be a, a tradition that we continue on. So whenever you're in the first um, of something, you know, it always overwhelms me. It always, you know, because I understand that because listen, I don't just see the beginning, I see the end. And the end is, you know, the end is is global. And so I'm dealing with that sort of vision um, of a global vision of, a, you know, of, of this. And for us to to share this moment with all these incredible people around the world and to, and to, and to have you um, as our ambassador of the day of Afia, um, it is just it's a true honor. It really is. And so I'm so grateful that you, you've made time and you participated in the in the breathing and the meditations and the yoga. So you went through it with us. And from the mud, you was here. From oh the yeah, mud, right? <laughs> from the mud. So I wow. just want to thank you, and like I said, on behalf of uh, the Canadian Kwanzaa Association, Health and Hip Hop Week, um, and you know, and and everyone that was a part of this incredible moment of the day of Afia, we like to present you, um, sister, and with this Afia Award, congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I, I really do. Thank you. It's an honor. And yoga is a part of my regular Sunday. So. Yoga, I yoga at night on Sunday. So that's why Yoga Me Black, I was excited. Coach Coffee, it was a, it was a pleasure. And um, in, in the mental capacity, Giselle, my soror, it's all there. You know what I mean? Mine, so I appreciate no it. No doubt. So how can they listen to you if they want to, like, follow the movement? I mean, your link is in our link tree and everything. But, like, if they yes. want to, what's the next time you're on the radio? 
it's an everyday movement. And I, I appreciate those who, who's been rocking with me. So um, Monday through Friday um, at 6.40 a.m. and 10.40 a.m., I'm on 103.9 WDKX in Rochester, New York. Uh, Monday through Friday from 8 p.m. to 4 p.m., this is our Easter Standard Time. I am on Radio Dash is an app you can download. It's free, similar like Sirius XM, but it's the next wave. And that's Monday through Friday. And then from Friday and Saturday from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., I am on one of um, 93.7 WBLK. And in Albany, New York, on Hot 99.1, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So you can catch me every day. And on Sundays, I drop my podcast, The G-Code, where I am extremely um, candid. You know, I, I tell my life stories as I bring other people in to share, as well, and that is on Sunday's new episode, and a and a podcast is called the G Code. So every day you can catch me. Okay, I'm here yeah. to edutain you, educate and entertain. And uh, I'm be a go getter. Go. Let's go. <laughs> no, no doubt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to hold this up. These up here, and since we have we have brother Kofi and he's still present. Um, where are you? I don't see your face. Are you still with us, brother Kofi? Um, and we have our sister, AD. I'm just going to try to hold this. If anyone could grab a screenshot, because I can't do it while I'm holding the award. <laughs> if you can do that for me, anybody. Did, did someone get it for me? I did, yes. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> know how to hit me up. All right, so what an incredible way to start this day, Afia. Um, I am going to now... Um, end this recording so we can begin the next segment. Thank you again um, to both of our award recipients. Uh, go get it. You, you keep go getting it. Um, there's, there's a whole generation of young people, not just girls, but especially the girls who are inspired by your grind. I know my daughter is inspired by your grind. Um, so it's impacted my house and I'm inspired by your grind. So, you know, I mean, to have you on the line right now, um, it, you know, as we, you know, continue to preach that we are black without borders, um, that we are a global, you know, a global people, global government. Um, on behalf of everybody, we just thank you for making time again. All right. Well, thank one you. Love, love. And so, can we get a um, um, can we get a one more, one more round of applause for both of our recipients? Come on, y'all. You know, love, love, respect. All right. I'm gonna end this. Thank you so much. Stop recording. All right. Stop recording.